We start with a terrifying shooting in Northwest Charlotte. A teenager was killed and three people are now in custody. We've just learned from our sources that the suspects are also very young. I'm Erica Bryant. And I'm Allison Lott as we first brought you this breaking news of the violent shooting at 5 o'clock with Chopper 9 flying overhead of a massive crime scene. This happened shortly after 3 this afternoon, shutting down Babies Ford Road and LaSalle Street for hours. Community activists told reporter Glenn Counts they were right there when this happened. Well, Allison, those uh, teen suspects are still here at the law enforcement center being questioned by detectives. Now, there are three of them, two boys and a girl, and sources tell me that the girl is a juvenile. What we do not know is why this murder occurred. Investigators spent most of the night trying to figure out why the three suspects shot the team. They were captured a short distance away after many of the folks in the crowd pointed them out. The community stepped up in a big way uh, and provided us very good descriptions on uh, the suspects in this case. Sources tell us the suspects are all young, all under the age of 17, and that one of them is a girl. That's also true for the victim. She is under the age of 18. Friends tell us she worked for a store in the area. The murder occurred right in front of this building, which houses the peacekeepers, a group working to reduce the violence. What we've been trying to do is get between the guns and the violence in the community. Um, being that it's happening on our doorstep shows us that we're just not doing enough in the community. The shooting occurred around 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a crowded street. While the motive remains a mystery, the fact that the neighborhood helped police is not, says Angie Drakeford with Community Relations. I think the community overall, for the most part, is just simply getting tired of not being able to walk the street in the middle of the day. Well, as we mentioned, the motive here is unclear. Sources tell me that everything is on the table, from a robbery to a potential carjacking to perhaps something personal, even though right now there is no clear evidence suggesting that the parties knew each other. Back to you. All right, Glenn Counts reporting for us. Thank you.